Hey, I'm Jared. Welcome to Omnivore Blade Works, the shop. Uh, I know you all like sharp things, so we're going to give you a progress report on this September 30th, 2021. All right, spinning the camera around. I got my mower deck from an old John Deere that I've been trying to refinish slowly. I've got the everything taken apart. That's uh, on the back burner right now. What's on the front burner is a bunch of knives. Uh, I took a little break from messing with the CNC mill because it was not behaving properly. So I, uh, I had already done a lot of the grinding on some of these, but I'm finishing up some hand sanding on others. So you can see we've got the couple of Kodiaks that are spoken for, and then some 3V. These are all 3V in this pile. Um, the Tanuki, Wakasaji, some of the Koalas, baby, or the small Koala, regular size Koala, Dr. Virginianus, no, Professor Virginianus MD, and the smaller version, and the Karambit, and then the Tanuki Tanto, and then this big monster is gonna be called the Conspiracy, and then there's some 1095 uh, new handy opossums. And then these are some 1095 blades over here. Some weird stuff. Uh, and the Ganunting. As well as some Wakasajis. And uh, these are going to get distal tapered. They already, you can see from the grind line that they're already a twisted grind. So it starts a little bit obtuse. And then it gets more acute towards the tip. So after the heat hardened, I'll be grinding this flat back down so it's a concentric arc. Um, that's like, the only way I know how to do it. I'm going to do a few more of these Ganuntings in this same custom style um, with the fuller and all that jazz. And then they'll go out for hardening. The original idea was to lighten some of the weight out of the uh, handle on the CNC mill as well as put a lanyard hole here instead it's been ground off so it's going to be a little bit more fancy instead then these long ones i call catharsis this is the john carter mars sword and uh they've been on the list for a long long time but i haven't had a chance to get them done because i don't have a place to harden them so uh my local heat treater can't do do that big of a, a sword and then here i got some handles laid out and some daggers and some stuff that's uh, all needing to be finished. Got a few little skinny gladius type swords there. I'm going to do one more with a fancy handle out of some maple. And then I've got my sheath trimming jig figured out. Finally made a another jig for the new model sheath. So now the uh, last process on this stack is to mount them onto their... Uh, respective sheath mold and then pop this little end mill up through the hole where the locking slot goes and then route out the locking slot using a regular carbide end mill and then the little flat section or non-fluted section on it acts as a pilot bearing it's very very easier much easier that way than doing it the way i used to which was with a rotozip bit on a dremel tool and now this is just changing my life um Got a little uh, squirrel and chipmunk, although not really named yet. This is a companion paperweight to go with the prehensile series knives. So you can see it's just a big hunk of 1095 and this just extra material from the cut nest that I wanted to use for something productive. So nice little paperweight and uh, it kind of reminds me of a little squirrel or chipmunk in the way that it's shaped. So it might be like a fidget spinner or a, I don't know, you could smash some nuts with it. It'd be a, a good little nut smasher. So those are all going to get some kind of heat treat when they're uh, done and then have an option to, to, to buy them eventually. Here's a couple of the conspiracies in 5160. So I'm going to grind these probably first. Um, and then I'm going to grind the ones that are made out of 3V. I was going to do them on the milling machine because it would save me a lot of wear and tear on my elbows, but I don't have the milling machine running right now. I do have this fan running. 
Um, so in here, I'm working on grinding some 1095 blades to go along with this batch. More Ganuntings, Americanus Bowies, more of the Prehensile Series knives, and then a short run. I think I got six six of the um, Hidden Tang Anubis Tomahawks. And then the final details are going to happen on those 3V Jackals, which are also spoke, spoken for. Um, and that's about it. Achoo! <laughs> Woo, that was a big sneeze. So there's another stack of tomahawks in the back. And uh, I guess that's about it. So it's uh, going to be a difficult grinding season because there's a lot to do still. Heavy, heavy grinding. But then we'll have a lot of heat treated stuff for the winter season for doing handles and sheath work and uh, hopefully get them back in time to do some painting before it gets too cold. And uh, then we'll work on more tomahawks. Um, I do have another probably 20 or 25 full on, full verse quality Anubis tomahawks to, to call people about and then take money and ship, show them to you. So there they are black and tan i think there's at least 20 of them up there still maybe 25 and then there's the all the seconds are now spoken for or blems are spoken for now and uh so once i get the sheaths made which i've got spacers for them now i might run out of screws so i gotta probably order screws but uh look forward to a, a message if you're on the waiting list some people that are on the early on the list haven't responded, so that means we're skipping ahead in time. Sorry for missing you if you uh, change your email address, but such is life. Um, sorry the video is a little long, but we sometimes have to just improvise. All right, we'll see you next time, and uh, look forward to a couple of new designs this Christmas time-ish. I'm going to start working on some new stuff and uh, segue into more CNC manufactured blades because I'm getting too old for this stuff. My elbows are starting to hurt too much. I still love doing it, but you got to be practical and smart about what you do. All right. See you next time.